Okay, this is an answer to uh, Kelly's question, which was she said that she was having a hard time um, uh, taking her pictures without getting some ghosting and probably some blur. So I think what's happening is, yeah, you're, you're using uh, actually too slow of a shutter speed uh, or too long of an exposure. So how do we know what shutter speed we're supposed to be using? Well, it depends on those other things. It depends on what ISO we've uh, chosen and it depends on the F number that we've chosen. So remember, we talked in class about metering for our subject and we took our camera and uh, put it up to our eye and then we filled up the lens with our subject and down at the when you're looking into your viewfinder down at the bottom of the screen you'll see this this little meter right here that goes from mine goes from negative three to positive three and uh, you have that zero point in the middle and so while you're uh, you've filled up filled up your your lens with your subject and press the shutter button halfway down, that meter down at the bottom will, will show you either you're too far to the left or too far to the right, meaning you're too slow or you're too fast. And so while looking at that, you scroll your, uh, your this wheel here up on top and, until you uh, adjust it so that, that, so, that the, so that you're close to the zero mark on that again on that little meter that you see that's down at the bottom of your at the bottom of your uh, viewfinder um, now if you meter and you you um, adjust that so that you're so that the mark is close to that zero mark where it's going to expose properly as far as light goes now check your now check what shutter speed you've actually got what what uh, shutter speed it sort of told you to use. Um, we talked in class that if we're shooting a, a still subject, um, somebody holding still or a flower, you know, something that basically isn't moving, um, I try not to go slower than 1 over 160, uh, which is 1 one sixtieth of a second. Or, I mean, you could probably get away with even 1 over 100, but you're pushing it as far as whether that's going to capture any any of your own shaking or any of your subjects um, natural vibrations so if you're if you're if your shutter speed is slower than that um, if you're using the bigger part of a second um, shutter speed than that then you are more likely to capture some ghosting and some blur so you want to be faster than that so my answer Kelly is uh, use a faster shutter speed probably than you've been using. Um, and go ahead if you want and upload the pictures that you're talking about uh, with the metadata so that I know what F number you're using and which shutter speed you're using. Now let's say that you, you, you uh, let's say that, uh, okay, so you, you meter and it's, and you realize that the camera is telling you to use like one thirtieth of a second and that's too slow. So how can we uh, make it so that you can use a faster shutter speed? How can we make it so that you can go ahead and adjust your shutter speed um, to 1 one sixtieth? Well, remember when we talked about aperture, we talked about um, if you're wide open, which we achieve with a lower F number, it's going to let in more light and you're gonna be able to shoot with a faster shutter speed. Um, so that's one way that you could do it. You could adjust to a lower F number um, in order to be able to use a faster shutter speed. Uh, and if you don't like that, if you've deliberately chosen your F number and, and it's what you want to stay with, then your other option is to bump your ISO up until you're able to use a shutter speed um, that is uh, closer to 1 one sixtieth, closer to fast enough to avoid that ghosting and that blur. So hopefully I didn't make that too complicated. Um, we'll definitely uh, re-drill this stuff Wednesday when you come to class, so don't um, worry too much, but hopefully that helped you.
And uh, if it didn't, um, go ahead and ask more questions and I'll try to answer them. And feel free to upload those photos and, and uh, give me the, the metadata, the, which F number you use, what your shutter speed was, what your ISO was, and, and I can probably determine off of that exactly what's going on. So, all right, hope that works. We'll see you when.